What is going on gamers? Avatrix here and today I'm gonna go ahead and show you how my first game went. Now I'm using Valheim. I found this hero to be really really good for me. Like just his skills and everything just synergizes well with what I usually like to do. And I usually like to also go mid lane. So I thought that this hero was exactly what I wanted as at least to begin with to start learning the game and what items are available and whatnot. I felt like this was the perfect one. And so far, I'm really liking him. He's he's really simple to learn. And uh, for mid lane, he's really good. So I went ahead and went right into the mid lane. Now, the enemy, for whatever reason, uh, it's not not really a mid lane hero. So I don't, I don't really understood why they chose this hero and then chose to go mid lane. Um, from my knowledge from uh, League of Legends, that is more of a hero that would more than likely be top lane. But uh, you can just tell right here in mid lane, it's just like a fish out of water. It just it, it doesn't bode well for them. Not a hero that you would want to actually use here. So it was easy peasy for me. And since I took him down, I took this opportunity to start looking around and make some plays in other lanes. So I'm seeing here that bottom lane is getting pushed. So that means that I'm going to go ahead and try to assist. So I'm going to try and come up right here. Now, unfortunately, they were kind of uh, leaving. I don't know why they were disengaging because maybe they didn't see me coming. But either way, I was able to go ahead and pick up this skill right here. And I am on my way on making plays right here. Now, I'm going back to my mid lane because my guy uh, is back. And now it's two on one. He's under the tower for whatever reason. And that just means that he's done for. <laughs> just plain and simple. I don't know if this uh, this person in mid lane was new or just doesn't understand how to specifically play the game, but this is makes it making some really early mistakes as far as pushing too far, not realizing that other people are coming from other lanes, etc. So pretty easy to go ahead and take this down. Now I have help here in the mid lane now, but it really was unnecessary. We didn't really need it at all. Um, so now that this person is coming in again. I guess I didn't realize that their tower was down. He charges both of us with no tower. I don't know, just this mid laner that I was going up against just let me snowball so bad because he just kept doing really bad plays. So again, since I took him down, that means that I can go ahead and go roaming. And this time I'm going to the top lane. Now, interestingly enough, I find somebody just chilling out here and I'm like, okay, see ya. <laughs> Easy. So, okay. Now that we took care of that, let's go ahead and go back to my own lane because uh, I want I want to get some more kills over this guy. And what do I find here? That this guy's actually getting a kill. I'm like, wait a minute. When did you turn good? When did you turn good? Well, I guess you didn't really turn good because I demolish him ASAP. And then he stays coming in. Like, don't you understand that I have a stun? You're not. I don't know. Just not very good plays from this guy. So again, because he overplayed his hand, I can go ahead and take down yet another tower. This is going way faster than I would have imagined. Um, I think this game overall was only a little bit over 8 minutes, if that. So it, it, it was really quick and because of some easy, easy mistakes that they could have avoided. Now this is 2 on 1 right here. So I'm going I'm gonna to go ahead and take this person out. And this guy is still engaged with me, which... I didn't understand like you have to know when it is good to actually attack and when it is actually better for you to keep your distance as you can tell I'm a couple levels above pretty much everybody in the game so just trying to rush me is not going to work for you unless you have a clear advantage and they they clearly didn't like this guy is level 3 like what is he trying to do you're obviously going to die easily so I guess I'm gonna have to get playing some more and then rank up to get some decent competition because I feel like a lot of the competition here is just a lot of newer players that maybe don't know how to play and whatnot. So you just have to keep winning games and hopefully the way that matchmaking works here is the more you win, the more uh, opponents will know what to do. Maybe they'll match you up with other people that know what they're doing. And right here, I give you a perfect example. I knew that this is not a favorable matchup for me, so what did I do? I went ahead and left because I would have just died 
gave them some momentum, some gold, etc. And that's not something that I wanted to do. So you got to know when to disengage and when to engage. Like, for instance, right here. I knew that I could win this easy. So I'm going to try and bait them and see if they take the bait. They take the bait. Now notice, I ran back to my tower for support, okay? I didn't just go out there by myself. I had the tower for backup and I was able to go ahead and take them out easily, easily. Shut down. Here we go. And now I'm just trying to push this lane. Um, trying to end the game because I think it's time. For, for whatever reason, this person tried to walk up behind me. No idea what they were thinking, but they gave me that triple kill, which, thank you very much. I will go ahead and take it to the bank, buy myself a new item, and once again, I have somebody just coming straight at me. I don't know when they're going to learn that, no, you do not want to do that because... You're just gonna give me legendary on my first game. Like, come on now. Double kill, ace, and that is pretty much the game. I think my guildmates, or not my guildmates, but my teammates wanted me to uh, pull back. They wanted to play a little longer, but I just wanted to finish. I wanted to get my first win under my belt, and uh, there we go. MVP, and I earned almost 6,000 gold, which is quite high if you ask me. So, there we go. Legendary. Now it says my second legendary award. I think it it's taken my stats from the other server that I played in like a month or two ago. So I guess it's gonna bring everything over to the American server, which I'm completely okay with. I hit level five, which is a uh, it's a good uh, level because from what I understand, it once you reach level five, you can now start doing uh, ranked. So that's gonna be really good. Um, I'm thinking that here you just kind of like hit like to whatever um, people you actually enjoyed playing with, which I like because if you don't have like a lot of people that you know that you're going to be playing with, it's always good to play with other people that you know will play well. So there you go. There are my stats. 14 kills, 0 deaths, 1 assist, and racked up the gold. So there you go. Now I'm going to be looking to, towards the items and see what they do and all of that good stuff. That way I can start making my own builds instead of just following what the, uh, what the system says to get. And uh, that'll, that'll definitely make it a little easier for me. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys for watching. And tell me what else you want to see. And until later, bye.